So if you're reading the title of this video, I'm sure you're excited to get right into the compilation of I Don't Want It videos, but before we get started, I just want to take a moment and say thank you so much for the love and support that you've given me across all my platforms these last six months. I don't know where I would be without you guys, but as much as you think that I'm making you smile, you guys are bringing a smile to my face every single day, and I'm so thankful for the positive, heartfelt, and supportive community that you guys have created with me on TikTok and Instagram. So thank you so much for being here every step of the way. I cannot wait to keep creating videos with you guys and keep growing and setting high standards. So let's get right into the compilation. If my husband doesn't coach every single one of our kids' sports teams while I'm the cute mom that shows up with drinks and waters in my Range Rover, I don't want it. If my husband doesn't whip our kids around on tubes behind our speedboat while I'm the cute mom sitting in the front getting a pristine tan, occasionally telling him to be careful but also documenting their best wipeouts, I don't want it. If my best friend doesn't accept the fact that I will be hiding undercover at her first date with a new guy to ensure that she is safe. And if things get a little awkward, I will step in and create a diversion. I don't want it. If my boyfriend doesn't accidentally get stuck in my house when they announce the nationwide quarantine so that even though we have to be separated from the world, we're still together. I don't want it. If my best friend doesn't bring her family over to my house on weekends for cookouts so our husbands can grow while watching the game while we're the cute mom sitting by the pool drinking margaritas and being the judges of our kids' cannonball splash competitions, I don't want it. If my best friend doesn't hype up my Instagram picture like it's the first time she's seeing it, even though we both know that I sent her my top three options and posted the one that she picked, I don't want it. If my husband doesn't build elaborate forts in our living room with our kids using blankets and chairs while I'm the cute mom that shows up with snacks and waters and a projector to watch our favorite family films, I don't want it. If my boyfriend has to wake up before me to go to class or work and he doesn't come back in the room to softly kiss me goodbye while I'm still half asleep and whisper I love you before he goes about his day, I don't want it. If my best friend doesn't come on mommy daughter dates with me and my girls to have brunch and get our nails done while our husbands hang out with the boys the whole day, and then we all reconnect in the park to play on the playground and eat pizza, I don't want it. If I wake up on Mother's Day and my husband doesn't bring me a cup of coffee with breakfast in bed while I'm the cute mom snuggled up underneath the covers with both of our kids watching their favorite cartoons before we start the day, I don't want it. If my sister doesn't let me steal her clothes on any occasion whenever I need a new outfit because my stuff is boring and her stuff is obviously better than mine, I don't want it. If my boyfriend doesn't text me all day long, that's fine. Honestly, we both have complex lives that make communicating difficult. But all I ask is that you send little updates so that I know you're thinking of me and that you're safe. And if you don't see the value in that, I don't want it. If my house isn't the one hosting the end of the year party on the last day of school where all the neighborhood kids play capture the flag and go swimming in our pool, well, I'm the cute mom with the rest of the cute moms, making sure that everybody's safe but also having a good time. I don't want it. If it's time for me to go back home and my boyfriend doesn't playfully wrestle and or body slam me to keep me from leaving his house even after we spent an entire day together, I don't want it. If my best friend doesn't run a vacation beach house with me for long weekends with our family where our husbands spend all day in the ocean teaching the kids how to surf while we're the cute mom sitting on the roof drinking white claws and cheering them on every time they stand up, I don't want it. If I walk down the aisle on my wedding day looking like a whole snack in my perfectly white wedding dress and my future husband isn't standing on the altar crying his eyes out like a baby in front of all our extended friends and family, I don't want it. Listen, people, we are social distancing. Stay at home. But if my boyfriend doesn't pack up a freshly washed sweatshirt, spritz it with his cologne and send it on over to my house, 
I don't want it. If my best friend doesn't drag her family to the beach on weekends with my family so our husbands can jump waves in the water with the kids while we're the cute moms sitting on shore, turning them into mermaids using sand and making sure everybody's wearing enough sunscreen, I don't want it. If my best friend doesn't pull up on my wedding day with a gown in one hand and an entire tray of chicken nuggies in the other hand that she keeps fully stocked so the bridal party doesn't get hangry while we're getting our hair and makeup done, I don't want it. If we pull into a gas station and my best friend doesn't jump out of the car to fill up the tank before going to the convenience store to get sippy top Gatorades and our favorite fruity candy while I wait in the car and queue up the next best songs in the playlist, I don't want it. If my best friend doesn't bring her family on vacation with my family so our kids and husbands can have somebody to hang out with while we're the cute mom sitting by the pool drinking pina coladas and soaking up the sun, I don't want it. If my boyfriend wants to go to the bar, that's fine. If he wants to stay in and have a night with the boys, totally acceptable. But all I ask is that he ends the night in my bed snuggling me. And if he doesn't do that, I don't want it. If my siblings don't date a significant other that's a main squeeze who gets along with everyone in the family, especially me, so that when they come over, it's like I have a friend to hang out with and don't have to be lonely, I don't want it. <laughs> If my best friend and I don't host family movie nights where our kids lie underneath a blanket for as we educate them on the Disney classics while we're the cute mom sitting in the fake concession stand subtly singing every single song and eating all the popcorn, I don't want it. If my boyfriend stops touching me for one minute after months of long distance when we see each other for the first time because we have to soak up every single second that we have together, I don't want it. If my best friend doesn't go incognito the night of my engagement in order to capture perfectly candid images of my fiance proposing to me, I don't want it. If my best friend doesn't show up unannounced to my house and immediately act like she lives there by eating our food and wearing my clothes and ends up just never leaving, which forces my family to accept the fact that she's now the adopted daughter, I don't want it. If my best friend doesn't birth a child that becomes best friends with my child so they can grow up together and eventually fall in love and get married and then we can become extended sister-in-laws and go to all the family events together, I don't want it. If my best friend doesn't help my future husband plan a surprise engagement party for after he proposes so we can celebrate with all our extended friends and family and also make sure that I wore an outfit that's appropriate for both occasions, I don't want it. If my husband doesn't come to our baby swim lessons on Saturday morning and get in the freezing cold water so that our child can jump off the diving board into his arms while I'm the cute mom on the side taking precious pictures that will one day hang at their high school graduation party, I don't want it. If my best friend doesn't chaperone our kids' field trips with me so that we can end up just combining our groups into one mega group where we're the cute moms with the best snacks and the most fun games, I don't want it. If my best friend doesn't help my future husband pick out an engagement ring based off the hundreds of unrealistic Pinterest photos we've been looking at since we were 15 and secretly forced me to get a manicure before the proposal, I don't want it. If my best friend doesn't move to the same neighborhood as me when we're older so that our kids can grow up together and we can carpool and have family barbecues and anytime our kids hang out, we can hang out, I don't want it. If my best friend doesn't casually hint to my boyfriend when I'm having a bad day so we can go out and get chocolate and flowers to probably make it better, I don't want it. If my best friend doesn't end up in the same nursing home as me so we can do puzzles and arts and crafts together and wear matching outfits and race each other on our scooters till death do us part, I don't want it. If my best friend and I don't own a lake house that our family spends summers in where our husbands are consistently fighting over who's better at flipping the kids off the tubes while we're the cute moms drinking wine coolers and floating around in our swimsuits all day, I don't want it. I am actually president of the company.